That's it. Good dog. Oh, it's frozen. Whew. All right. Let's go up. Morning, folks, and welcome back. Glad you can join me on another hike. It's been a while. There's been issues, equipment failures, vlogs that have been written off, uh, nightmare weather conditions that just kind of put me off getting out and doing the, uh, the videos because those cloudy, wet days might be great for photography, but for this kind of stuff, yeah, you need clear, calm days where you guys can get to see what I'm seeing clearly. This is the vlog I was going to do last week, but it was completely clagged in, heavy rain. What's the point? So I decided to wait and come and do it this week. So you can probably tell by this gate behind me and the photograph I put on my uh, Instagram story <coughs> that we're going up the Langdale Pikes via Raven Crag. It's Christmas Eve, as you can probably tell, and uh, Finney's got a little Christmas, what is that, snood? Yeah, Christmas snood. So I'm gonna get on up, crack on. It's a bit slippy, isn't it, Finn? <laughs> Slippery and steep. We're now at the foot of Raven Crag. Uh, normally get quite a lot of climbers around here, but it's probably a bit early this morning. Uh, Finn wants to climb it. <laughs> so <clears throat> you can go that way, but I think what we're going to do is we're going to scoot along uh, the bottom of Raven Crag and then up onto, uh, well, towards Dungeon Gill, I guess. I think it's food time. Well, it's not food time yet. No, you've got to work for it. <laughs> I do feel like I'm kind of weighted down like a bloody pack horse. Got a lot of equipment today. A lot of equipment. A lot of it's just spare batteries. <laughs> and a camera that I'm probably not going to use. Alright, so that's Raven Crag. We're starting to go up a little bit now. Herdies up ahead. Finn, leave the herdies alone. <laughs> it's really nice around here. It's so quiet. I mean, to be honest, we always get here around this time anyway, so maybe it's always quiet this time. Maybe it's awful later on, but I've never seen anybody around here. And it feels kind of undisturbed, even though clearly it isn't because there's a bloody great path going up it, but Look at that. Hey. <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be falling down that. <laughs> yes. Nice. There's Raven Crag, and we're just going to go up the path here and get over a bit of a fence. This is one of my favourite parts of the walk, actually. It feels like you're not really in England in some ways. I think it's probably these trees give it kind of a Canadian feel to it, maybe. I think is there a style there or was it a oh there is a style here <laughs> I got you I got you there you go Hoop. so this is like <sighs> there you go this is really slick as in not a slick maneuver 
it's a very unslick manoeuvre, but this is really slippy. So I think the best way to do this without coming a cropper, let's go that way. Oh, that's all I need, it's a dog charging around. All right, I think we're on. I think we did it, Finn. Yeah. I have to admit, that is a pretty special view. I don't know how wide angle that is for you guys, but you just have to imagine it. Finny, what are you doing? <laughs> no, 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 Finn, Finn, come here. Jesus, that was too close to the edge. Come on. Finn, come on, this way. Oh, this dog, she's going crazy at the worst bottle time. This way, Finn. It's a bit of a shame because this is one of the nicest parts. <laughs> she, Finn, this way. Come on. I need to get her on flat, flat ground, otherwise she's going to kill herself. This way. definitely fall today at some point. Just make out the top of Harrison now and the top of Paviac. I don't know if you can see it on this camera, but the mists over an Elta water there and then uh, top end of Windermere. So I'm both sides completely clagged in by the looks of it. I am going to get my camera out. I'm going to try and get a shot of that. It's quite far, but might be able to do something with it. If I get something, I'll stick it on the video. Let's see what we can get, Phineas. Eh? What do you reckon? We have a long shot in it. Give it a go though. You're gonna fall off the hill in a minute. <laughs> Stupid dog. So we're looking at around about 320 shot speed. It needs to be over 200. I'm writing at 200 mil at the moment, so it needs to be well over 200 mil at 200th of a second. Sorry. So we're at 320. That's uh, f4.5 ISO 100. And I think that is just about right. Okay, we're just at the section now above what is known as uh, Mark Gate, so below Thorn Crag and Loft Crag. So I'm going to head on up to Loft Crag now and then we'll have full view of uh, Pike Stickle, which is where I reckon we'll have a we shall have brunch up there, I think. Why the hell not, eh, Finny? But what a great view. Just when you come around that corner, you're faced with that huge hulk of Harrison and Loft Crag. And obviously that big cleft between them. Beautiful. Right, just got to the top of uh, Loft Crag. I mean, look at that. Look at that for a view. Very, very rare have I come up here and seen everything so clear. I mean, you've got Bowfell right there, Esk Pike, Rosset Pike in the foreground, Rosset Gill, Great End, you know, Allen Crags, Great Gable. 
obviously Pike of Stickle and Gladamara way over towards Skidder as well. Whew, incredible. I haven't seen a single person yet. Not a single person. Absolutely brilliant. Pretty much this whole area, Pike Stickle, Harrison, what have you, is a uh, ancient axe factory. So you've got various uh, ancient archaeological sites. Gotta be careful around here because it's really slippy. The sun's not touched this yet, so it's just ice. What is really interesting, actually more interesting than that, I mean, that is interesting, but even more interesting is the fact that, you know, these axe heads and hammer heads and what have you weren't just made to be used by the people around here. No, no, they've been found all over the world. So the rock they've used, that was awful. <laughs> the rock they used, which is, uh, is it green stones? I can't remember now. They found it in ceremonial axes and that kind of stuff all over the place. Beautiful polished stone. And that's from here, around these parts. So there you go, a bit of history for you. <laughs> Part of the axe factory is down there, down the screes. So just approaching the, the base of Pike Stickle now. I just love this path here. It reminds me of a album cover by a band called Sepultura, Beneath the Remains. It's got like a skull with these paths going around it, and this always reminds me of that. Up you go. Come on, keep going. Up. Come on, Finn. Up you come. Atta girl, there you go. Good dog. Not bad, eh, Phineas? Not bad at all. Ooh, that's an icy wind. That is just, well, epic, really. Come off Pike of Stickle now. Um, and heading over to, to Harrison. Didn't actually have any food up there. It's absolutely freezing up there. So windy. So uh, I'm gonna head on up that way and probably find a bit of shelter and have some food. But loving life at the moment. I've seen one person so far today. One person. I'm on the Langdale Pikes for God's sake. That is just unheard of. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Hey, Finny. Yeah. Look at that. Morning. Come on, Finn, out the way. Morning. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, we did have, but they, I think they collapsed or she chewed them or something. 
<laughs> yeah, it's a bit obscene that, isn't it really? <laughs> it's a bit like a G-string or something. <laughs> yeah. You don't know where to look really, do you? <laughs> Going to slip on my ass again. <laughs> Come on. The thing I like about this place is you can just climb around everywhere. There's a lot of very grippy, fun rocks to jump around on. Ooh, oh, nearly. Then oh. this way. I don't know where you were going. I don't know where you were going. You were going after the food. <laughs> Pepiak. It's a pretty impressive view that, isn't it? Isn't it Finny? Get out of the wind. Look at that. Wonderful. What a wonderful view that is. Down the back uh, side rake or whatever the hell it's called probably slide rake today <laughs> it's uh, pretty icy it was absolutely treacherous on the back of there because obviously with a lack of sun it's just all iced up and uh, it was pretty crazy so now i'm just going past tickle tan uh, on the stepping stones across this peat bog and this could be disastrous, actually. <laughs> Depending on how slippery these rocks are. And he's across. Whew. Come on, Finn. Finn made it across as well. So, Ooh. some real dicey rocks around here. Uh, so I'll pick up again when I uh, start heading down towards Pike Howe. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Right. Anyway. Ooh, Jesus. This is deadly. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I've fallen today. <sighs> Pike Howl there, so I need to get up higher and go around and drop down to it. Let's do it. Go on, Phineas. Let's go. Hoop. That is a fantastic photograph, actually. Oh, I'm gonna have to get that. I think there might even be someone on there. Right, I'm gonna get that. Just heading down onto Pike How Now. How Now? <laughs> Pike How Now, but our own cow. Look at that view behind. Look at that view behind. Absolutely beautiful. So that's where I was today, up on, well, over there, Loft Crag, um, Harrison, 
then over onto Pavey. And look at that hoodie right there on that rock. It's facing the wrong way though. I don't really want a picture of a sheep's ass. No thanks. Got some nice shots of hoodies back there. Um, quite bonny looking ones then. So we'll see how they turn out. If you do get up around this part, in the Langdales, be sure to check out Pike How. You can see it's all frozen around here still. It's interesting because obviously the sun's been up, but it's obviously not touched this bit at all. So here you go. Pike How. I mean, if you can't be bothered going up Langdale Pikes, you just fancy a little stroll out from the valley. Just come up here. I mean, you're looking at around about the same height as Side Pike. Look at the views you get. I mean, look at that. Just look at it. You don't actually need to go any further. That will do, thank you very much. But look at this, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Don't make me go. Look at it. I've got to get a shot of that. Cross, up, well it'll be interesting to see how it stitches that lot together. Look at that dog. Okay guys, I'm uh, almost back down at the path now. I thought I'd sign off uh, a bit before that because I think by the time I get down there it may be a little bit too dark. I mean it's what half three now and it's it's pretty dark. It's incredible. Um, it kind of feels like 10 o'clock at night. It's weird. I just really hope you've enjoyed it today. New equipment. Hopefully the audio's been all right. Hopefully the, the video has been all right with this new camera. Um, just let us know in the, the comments if it's all right, or if it's rubbish. <laughs> uh, what I'll do, same as last time, I will put the route uh, from the OS maps, I'll put the route in the description below. And um, apart from that, the only thing I have to say now is, you know, Merry Christmas. Hope you have a wonderful time with your families and friends and what have you. And a great new year. And I'm really looking forward to, you know, getting out in 2019, hopefully bumping into a lot of you guys if I can. And I hope you have a wonderful new year too. Don't get too drunk. I know I will. And uh, from Finney and myself, I'll see you next time. Bye.